get into our Austin Realty update for the week. Uh, we're going to talk about Legend Oaks. and We talked about it year to date through the end of June. And now we're going to get into this from the standpoint of what, what happened in the third quarter. In other words, July, August, and September for the Legend Oaks area in southwest Austin. And there's some interesting trends in here, some of which are on the slides, some of which I'll talk about. So the sales in the third quarter are up quite a bit. It's like a 17% uh, increase. So you're talking about a decent increase. The number of units sold in Legend Oaks are only up a little bit. We have one more home sold. Mm -hmm. Days on market have gotten a little bit better. And this is just indicative in my mind, Perry, that Legend Oaks is a strong market. And you know it hasn't changed a whole lot. Look at that median price, though, year over year. That's a huge difference on where it was a year ago, isn't it? Yes, it is. So when you, when you look at it, the one thing that's not on this slide, which I found interesting, and I know you've had to deal with this recently, is if you look at right now, obviously there were 16 units sold in a three-month period. Currently, when I ran the report for this update, there is one active listing in the marketplace. And one you know, pending. I've got one pending over there. <laughs> there's, it, well, it, it gets worse than that if you think about it from a supply and demand standpoint. There are 16 sales over a three-month period. You've got one active, and you've got nine pending. That is about as strong a supply and demand imbalance that I've ever seen in a given market. In other words, right now, there is no inventory to speak of in Legend Oaks as we enter the fourth quarter. We're almost at the end of the first month of it. You know, we're sitting with one active listing there. And you know, if you take that number and divide it, it's just more than a little bit more than three a month on average selling in there during the, you know, the third quarter, and we've got nine pending, which tells me very much that anything and everything that's coming on the market, unless it's grossly overpriced, sells immediately. And was that not your experience in Legend Oaks? It is, and it, and it almost seems like that one, you wonder, what's wrong with it? Why is it under contract? <laughs> well, c considering uh, it's been on the market uh, for 104 days as of this morning, right? And it's close to a three hundred thousand dollar price point, and our median is two eighty three for the whole quarter. You could pretty much guess that there is some issue pricing or condition that is affecting that and the ability for it to sell. And as a result, buyers are not going to buy an overpriced listing, even in a market where nine are pending and only one is active, are they? No, they're not. They're not that stupid. Well, a lot of praise, anyways. Yeah. Right. The, the appraiser's got to work off the same real world data, and I'm going to save that concept for when we talk about uh, tight real estate markets in Austin and the effect on being able to get financing and appraisals and things like that, because that's going to be a topic we're going to touch on in our section on questions from listeners. So. <laughs>